All right, so uh, here's what we're going to look at, a couple of examples here of how to simplify rational expressions. Uh, of course, you weren't as lucky as the last one where we just had numbers on the top and the bottom. Those are pretty easy. Now we're actually getting into what our problems are going to look like. So to simplify 3x, uh, or just kidding, not 3x, x cubed plus x squared over x plus 1, what we would do is we would try to find the common factors. Now looking at this, you may not be able to see the common factors. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that you factor everything first. So that's what we're going to try to do. Uh, if you look at the numerator, I can factor out an x squared. And that's going to leave me divide the first term by x squared and the second term, x plus 1. Over here in my denominator, that's a linear binomial. And the only way you can factor a linear binomial is by factoring out a common factor. Well, there isn't one, so that's factored. Now, as you can see, in factored form, it's pretty easy to tell that uh, this and this are, are common factors. So we divide them both by the same thing. And uh, to get my numerator, you multiply x squared times 1. And then the denominator will be 1. Well, we don't really need to put a 1 in our denominator. So our answer would be x squared. Look at the next example. Uh, again, as you can tell, it's going to be difficult to figure out what the common factor is before you factor it. So my advice, whether you're simplifying uh, rational expressions, multiplying, dividing, adding, subtracting complex numbers, Try to factor first. Okay, so that's what we're going to try to do. Looking at this, uh, the factored form, we can use trial and error because the leading coefficient is 1. Two numbers that will multiply to give me 5, that will add to give me 6, x plus 5, and x plus 1. So hopefully those will work. In my denominator, I have difference of squares. So square root of the first term gives me the first term in my binomial. Square root of the second term gives me the second term in my binomial. And uh, they need to be conjugates of each other. And as you can see now, uh, we can see what our common factors are. So we'll cancel those. So the simplified form for this rational expression is x plus 1 over x minus 5. There you go.